hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining me once again. You may recognise today's attire. I have already filmed a video today. It was earlier on. Um, but me and Kirk went out. Uh, we went to Asda and I got some more baby things. Um, for those of you that don't know, my friend Charlotte is having a baby. I have made a few things for the baby already on the channel. Um, and I did ask if anybody would want to see things that I'm not not buy not making but buying for the baby, um, and quite a lot of you said yes. Um, and I think cute little baby things are sweet to look at, um, and there's some lovely things. So if you're not into that, then you don't have to watch this video. I understand it's not everyone's cup of tea. Um, this is still a crochet channel, don't worry. But I just think it's nice to implement other bits of my life and. Um, I've got lots of things. I've gone, a, I've gone a bit bonkers, but never mind. Um, so my friend is due. She's having a little girl. She's due in September. Um, and I said to her, because she has got quite a big family, and she's got, he's got quite a big family, and lots of friends and kind neighbours and things. And I'm sure she'll be getting loads of baby outfits, loads of stuff. So I said rather than getting dresses and t-shirts and things that probably a lot of people are going to buy what I'll do is get sort of essentials um so hopefully she doesn't have to buy so many herself I'm sure she'll still get people will still buy essentials um but I think you know you can never have too many like body suits and sleep suits for babies can you so hopefully it'll help out and if not she can always exchange something else um but I've got varying sizes and I'll just show you what I've got. So this is what, this is going to be my gift bag. Well, I, I, if I can, I prefer not to buy gift bags because I just don't think they're of any use to anyone. So I always tend to buy something a bit more useful. So I have in the past been known to buy buckets and suitcase, uh, like um, vintage type suitcases from the charity shop. And uh, this is a big tote. Um, and it is also a bit of a standing joke that I tend to do this for Charlotte and James, who are the mum and dad to be. Um, they had a vintage travel themed wedding. So for the birthday before, for James's birthday before the wedding, um, I always get him like sweet treats and I put it in a vintage suitcase because that they were having vintage suitcases as part of their wedding like decor and like to put cards in and stuff. So it came in handy, which is why I bought it. I wouldn't buy it for just anyone. Um, and it saved me buying a gift bag. Um, I thought there was a mark in it, but there's not. Uh, so rather than buying a gift bag, I'm still going to wrap them in paper, by the way. But rather than buying a gift bag, I bought a tote. Um, it's got trees on it. It's like a canvas material, but it's like uh, plastic inside. Um, and I thought it could be like a toy box or a wash basket or somewhere to store the baby's extra things I don't know it's up to her isn't it but I thought that'd be more useful than a bag um especially a bag that says new baby on it because you are limited if it says happy birthday or is plain then you can reuse it but if unless you know someone that's having a baby she can't reuse that gift bag anyway I just like to be weird um so I'll show you everything that I've bought it is mostly clothes um I do plan on getting a few more hats and probably like towels or I don't know what I plan on getting I just get it when I see it but I've mostly bought uh bodysuits lately but I have bought some nappies I bought 24 from Asda for newborn um sorry this thing's on top of things I bought 24 newborn from Lidl and 25 25 newborn from Tesco um, she hasn't specified what nappies she is going to use and also she's a first-time mum so I sort of suppose that between her and the baby they'll decide what nappies they like the best um, so I thought if I get rather than getting one massive box of all pampers if I get I'll probably get some more nappies because you can never have too many but I thought if I get a few smaller packs of different brands then she can test them out as she pleases and I thought like this small packet is quite handy to have in the car or you know if she's a mum's gonna babysit for the day or you know have the baby for a few hours then she can go there you go rather than 
having to rifle through a massive box anyway so they can go in the tote and yes I'm going to wrap the nappies in wrapping paper because unwrapping presents is fun um I got some nappy sacks um I don't I presume she'll use them I, I don't know but um I went in super sorry I'm frowning with the sun I went in super truck the other day and Kirk wanted some eye drops I think um and it was buy one get one half price and I didn't want to buy two sets of eye drops but these were on it and, and they were only like 80p anyway so I thought well, I'll get them for 40p bargain they'll come in and that's what I've been trying to do get things with a coupon or with a voucher or on sale or you know like a, getting more for my money if I can uh, these are milestone cards so they have up to uh, one for every month up to a year old I think they have some for like two weeks old and things as well in the first month and then like I can stand up I said my first word so you can take a picture of the baby sort of like with the card near it and there's a little space to write on the back if you're going to scrapbook and Charlotte scrapbooks so I have those and you've seen the two hats that I've made I'm probably going to make that's a yellow one and a purple one I'm probably going to make a few more hats because they take no time at all um, as you can see the yellow one is bigger than the purple and uh, the baby will be born I've already said this at the end of September so we'll be going into autumn and winter so these little warm hats will be even more useful um, I think you could wear a hat pretty much most of the year round in England anyway it's generally cold um, I've made some little, I'm probably going to make a couple of more pairs of these as well just because I think they're cute, maybe different styles. Some little booties, there is a pair but that one's not puffed up. I'll put some um, paper in them I think. Some little Jada in stitches wrap booties, very easy to make, very 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 easy to make. Um, it does require a bit of sewing but it is literally, you make a T-shape, fold it, sew there, there and there and that's it. Hardly any yarn as well. Good scrap project. And I do believe that she has a tutorial on how to make them for any size. So, even if you don't have a baby to crochet for necessarily, you can still make the slippers. Losing my train of thought. Um, I have made a, you've seen this before definitely, um, a rainbow granny square blanket it's all wrapped up I'm going to wrap it in paper as well this has just got the washing instructions on um, and uh, lovey out of the same colours and the yellow to the hat and the slippers is the yellow in this so we are coordinating the baby ever so slightly uh, this is another blanket that's wrapped up this is a star blanket if you've not seen this before go back and watch not my last video the one before and I show you this I think it might even be the one before no because I think it was wrapped up in that one go back and watch all my old videos and see if you can find this blanket and that's all I've got to show you that I've made so far there is another blanket and another lovey that are works in progress and like I say I'll probably do more hats and things I have bought some hats look these were two pounds just a grey one and a white one for newborn up to seven and a half pounds they're only tiny um i got these before we knew the sex but they are gender neutral anyway and i think they go with something actually oh yeah i bought a little i'll show you in a bit i bought a little thingy for those and then this was a whopping 50p from tesco um this is from last year's christmas so my friend found out she was pregnant in january and i left it and left it and left it and left it and when these went to 50p whoops um i got it it's a little reindeer hat in up to three months so if the baby's born at the end of september that means that end of october is one month end of november is two months end of december is three months so like for November, December, she can be wearing this. And I just thought it was cute. Like if they go up to see the Christmas lights being switched on or something or go to like a Christmas fair or something, that'd be nice. Um, and I have, I'll show you the festive, I've been buying festive things. These are also 50p. 
These are 0 to 6 month socks. And again, this is last year's Christmas stock from Tesco. Santa, snowman and reindeer socks. You can't go wrong, can you? Um, I understand why they're 50p, because who wants Christmas socks in like February? Me, because I've got a baby being, well, my friend's got a baby being born. I haven't. Um, also, 50p is my first Christmas with polar bear and a penguin on it. Just a white bib. And I'll show you the last Christmas things because they're kind of not. Now, these are all up to three months for, yeah, all up to three months. And they were all 50p each. But I think it's a bargain. But again, it was like last year's Christmas stock that I bought in the sales. Because um, my friend found out she was pregnant on my birthday, which is 24th of January. So by the time she told me, the Christmas stock was still in the shop. So I did buy it, didn't tell anyone, stashed it away. So superstitious reasons. So this one has like a elf deer on it and it's red stripes. This one's green stripes with a Santa Claus. Uh, this one is a reindeer that says snow much fun. It's a little red one. And this one says cool, just like my daddy. I thought I saw a little dog then. Um, girls are cool. And this one, this one reminds me of Charlotte because she calls She's got a, uh, her cousin's got a little boy and she calls him a little pudding and no doubt her baby will be a little pudding as well. It says little pudding. That's something she'd say. I've got all those. And then the last festive thing I bought, again in up to three months, is two sleep suits. Sorry, they're in the packets. Two pounds these were. Uh, Grey one with Santa on and then this one says, holly jolly, happy merry, ho, ho, ho all over it. I'm going to leave them in the packet I think because um, I'm going to leave everything else that's in a packet in a packet in case she needs to return it. Uh, but they were £2 and I think that's it for festive things I've bought. This isn't festive but sort of is. So this is the only thing I think I've got in newborn and it was three fifty in the sale um, and it says born in 2018 it's a little long sleeve bodysuit and it came attached with some little grey leggings um, and this will go with the not hats. Um, yeah, I think that's cute. And that's all the sort of festive stuff. These were a bargain as well. These were from Tesco and they were reduced to clear to a pound because it's a four pack and one's missing. Um, someone's obviously half inch that. But what I thought I'd do, because they're only muslin squares, is if I take them out of the pack and just tie them together with a ribbon and go, there you go, she wouldn't have a net. She wouldn't be bothered. She'd be really impressed that I found these. Um, but I thought that just would make better wrapping than... I bought you half a packet of muslin squares. But I thought that was quite good because they can, they can be expensive. They're not always. I mean, I got these from Asda as well. Um, and these were four pink and white ones for 3 dollars So, I mean, it's not bad going, but seven. I'm just going to leave these in the pack, I think. But bargain. And... Let me show you what bibs I bought. Um, Asda also do, which I didn't pick up and I wish I had now, but I was getting myself into a bit of a tiz with, have I got this in this size? Have I got this in that size? Well, we'll um, also, can I ask, to those of you that have son, uh, sons, uh, children, grandchildren, nieces and nephews, you know, friends with babies, would a bit, does it matter? Would a baby still wear a short sleeve bodysuit like this? So like a short sleeve one of these in the winter or does it have to be long sleeve? Because there were some that were really nice. I really liked the pattern. But I worked out that the baby, it would be like December when the baby was wearing them, but they were short sleeve. So would they still come in for like wearing under things or should I just stick to long sleeve if I know it's going to be colder months? 
answers on a postcard please i'll show you this this um was it says two pounds but i think i got it for one i'm sure i did um and it's just a what size is it three to six months and it's got a bee on it i love bees um just a bodysuit and this is from that was from tesco this is from morrison's this is not three months and it says mummy and daddy love me so much and it comes with a little sleeve that you can roll over to be a scratch mitt um that was four pounds that is in not to three months i feel like i keep going that was in not to three months that was four pounds it's four pounds so not three months like you get it it's that one little tiny feet knit. and this one was also from morrison's this is up to one month but it's not got the price on but it would have been less than four pound i presume and it says cute smiles and big hooks thought that was sweet hello and this was from tesco this is in up to one month so it's just a little bit bigger than newborn this is three pounds and it's a fleecy sleep suit and it's pink with grey elephants on it which I really like that very sweet and I will show you the bibs now I got these from Asda this five um, for three pounds and they've all got plastic backs some bibs don't and some bibs do and I think this is supposed to be fruit is that one and that one that one that was cute and that one is that the same as that one yeah two the same that's fine and that one oh they're sweet aren't they and they they say newborn plus on them so they've got like a little velcro thing on so i suppose it's just for as long as they go around the baby's neck isn't it i don't know it's not for me to have to work these things out i'll just buy them and give them uh, these were from Morrison's. They were two fifty. I love Daddy and I love Mummy. I like to buy, try to buy equally Mummy and Daddy things because they are both equally excited. Um, hello, Hugo sat next to the stuff. Um, this is Newborn Plus again, and you get four bibs for four pounds. Um. That one's got birds on it that say tweet tweet feed me and a purple one with flowers and birds on and a plain mint one and a white one with pink and purple uh, yellow and purple flowers on very cute and then i'll just show you all the stuff that's in packets oh and i got some uh little scratch mitts for a pound little pink ones um so i'll show you all the stuff that's in packets i'm not going to take it out just because um she obviously doesn't want to wash them before they're used but if i bought something that she already has a lot of i wanted to be able to take it back so i've kept receipts and things uh these are these were in the sale it says five pound but they scanned at 350 um and these are from tesco in up to three months they had quite a few packs of these as well they were in like a rummage bin not on the shelf which i thought was you know look out for the rummage bins which is also where i found the one with the bee on um but you get two white with blue and pink you get a blue with pink and dark pink and then these two have sort of like got holes in i don't know how to describe it but they're long sleeve five long sleeve uh body suits anyway and i got uh, in three to six months some short sleeve bodysuits that are white with a ladybird sorry Kirk's banging really ladybird a kite a sunshine not a sunflower a rain cloud no an umbrella and a rainbow and a cloud and these ones um these are disney so you don't get as many for your money but these are in six to nine months um mini mouse and daisy duck 
let me get one of these out. They just look so cute. Look. Oh. I have to wrap that up nicely. And then, finally, my word is I got two packs of sleep suits. This pack was from Asda. Um, I got six to nine months and it was seven pounds for three. Um, and it's got flowers and um, it says little cutie. And this one's got butterflies on it as well. They're very definitely my aesthetic. But these are very definitely Charlotte's aesthetic. Um, these are from Tesco. These are three to six months and these are eight fifty. Um, but I think I like these more anyway. I think she'll like these more definitely. So this one's white with strawberries. Sorry. And this one's blue and white stripes with a little bee on it. And I like peeping around. <laughs> this one is uh bees, sorry, bees and flowers on a white one. Um and she did say to me that she does like pink for girls she's not a person that's going to say my daughter can't wear this or that um she's very grateful for everything she receives i'm sure but she did say that she does like alternatives to pink as well she likes neutrals and she likes blues and yellows and things so got a good mixed bunch i need to sort of go through everything and see what i've got in each size i'm not going to go too mad for as you can see i'm not going to go too mad for newborn first off it could be a massive, uh, she could be, I'm sorry, I'm still used to calling her it. Um, she could be a massive baby and would never fit in newborn, potentially. And also I do think that generally people that give baby gifts buy smaller things. So I might get, a, I think I need to get a few more things that are a bit bigger. But if I don't get anything else, I'm happy with what I've got. So I'm going to go through it all and just sort of make a note of what I've got in what sizes. Um, and probably get some more socks because I've only got Christmas socks. Um, but I'm going to get some toiletries. I just spat everywhere. I'm going to get some toiletries. I'm going to get a few things for Charlotte and James as well. Just, I don't know. And probably a couple of books or something. But we'll see what I get on the way. But that's all I've got for now. Um, I think I am going to think about wrapping up what I've got. Just so it's not a massive job when the baby shower comes. Because I think she said she'd like to have a baby shower in August. So, it's June tomorrow. So, June, July, August. So, I've got like two and a bit months. So, if I keep buying, it's going to take me forever to wrap. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, I'm really out of breath. and I need to go, not out of breath, like out of voice like i feel like i've talked too much this is this is not this is not what the what this is not the queen's english is for a start right i'm going to go i'm going to make myself a nice big drink of water because i'm thirsty um but thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed if you have any suggestions on anything that i've missed please do comment below uh, like I say, I'm not really, con I probably will get some, but I'm not really concentrating too much on outfits as such. Because I think that's something that Charlotte would herself like to buy. And also I think she'll get a lot of gift as of outfits as gifts and perhaps less of the packing stuff as gifts. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm going to go. Thank you all for watching. Any suggestions, um, please leave them it below, like I say. And I will see you next time with something a bit more yarny. Have a fabulous weekend. Um, I'm definitely not filming any more videos today. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, thank you for watching. Bye, everyone. <laughs>